Welcome back everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another video review and today I have the General Giant 2016 convention exclusive from San Diego Comic Con, the Captain Phasma mini bust from Star Wars The Force Awakens. I was so utterly excited when General Giant started releasing their Force Awakens line of mini bus as I, I love Force Awakens and obviously Star Wars is just a huge part of my life, um, one of the biggest fandoms I am part of and seeing all the new pieces coming out from General Giant while they still have the original trilogy, new trilogy, um, or prequel trilogy I should say, um, and just pieces from every pretty much every movie and TV show. Um, it's a really great feeling to have as a collector and a fan to be able to have such a diversity in your collection. So anyway, um, General Giant announced a couple Star Wars pieces for San Diego Comic Con, Captain Phasma being one of them. Um, the Chewbacca Macquarie minibus was another one and I thought about getting that one but I'm just not that big of a fan of the Chewbacca one. I do have the Macquarie mini bust from Star Wars Celebration. Um, I do have the Boba Fett and the Sand, no, the Snow Trooper, sorry, and the Snow Troop, Storm Trooper um, Macquarie mini bust. But that's about it. Um, I have been thinking of getting the Luke and Vader concept Macquarie mini bus as well, but they're just so hard to find and they're pretty expensive. But, um, I wasn't, you know, of course, I'm not a fan of every single Macquarie concept design and I am glad, you know, they changed the look of Chewbacca. But for those of you that like it and got it, congratulations. Um, those of you that didn't, just keep your hopes up. Maybe one day you'll find a good deal on eBay. But other than that, they also had the two Luke Jumbo Kenner figures, which again, I'm not a big fan of the Jumbo Kenner line. Um, I love them. They're great, you know, figures, but I just don't collect them. I didn't really start from the beginning and don't have the room and getting one or two here and there just wouldn't really fit my collection. So I stick with the minibus and was able to pick this up on the first day of Comic-Con. They weren't selling out too much. I don't know if because the um, edition size is about 1200, it's pretty large for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or Captain Phasma just isn't that uh, wanted or desired by fans, but I know they would sell out by the end of each day, I believe, as in past years they would sell out maybe by noon or, you know, right when the doors open. But I am glad that I got it, and let's start taking a look at the piece itself. So we are actually going to start with the box as usual. So the front you can see it just says 2016 Comic Con exclusive with a picture of Captain Phasma, or well, the minibus, I should say. At the bottom, we have the Star Wars logo with Captain Phasma collectible minibus and General Giants logo. On the side, we have another angle of the minibus. And again, another angle on the other side. And here we have the iconic shot when we first saw um, Captain Phasma in the trailer, one of the early trailers. And here is a little description. Let me go ahead and zoom that in. And you can pause that if you want to read it. And of course, as always, they have the number size on the bottom, and this one is number 918 of 1200. Um, I know I usually show the COA, the Certificate of Authenticity, but that is in the styrofoam in the box, so I don't want to dig through that right now. And here is the mini bust itself. This is just an absolutely gorgeous mini bust. It's one of my favorites instantly um, when I saw it, and when I saw it online, saw it in person, and finally opened it up at home. Um, they just did a phenomenal job with this. Um, a few points that, actually really there's only one point that I really wanted to address, which I'll get to in just a moment, um, but everything just looks phenomenal. It's huge too, you know, they are really sticking true to the one six scale mini bus size, so you definitely get your money's worth. Um, it does have quite a bit of weight to it. I know some mini bus in the past had the uh, hollow design to it, so they felt pretty light and fragile but this one is pretty sturdy um, but just do be careful with the blaster as it does stick out so if you drop it or hit it um, you don't want that breaking off so just getting zoomed in um, I hope I'm keeping the camera stable I'm not using my tripod right now just uh, adjusting my review for today you have the pretty much I'm pretty sure this is just a somewhat altered first order trooper armor that they used for Phasma um, and of course, Gwendolyn Christie, we didn't actually see her take off her helmet, but she did a great job in the few the few scenes we did get of Phasma. Um, I know a lot of people were disappointed that she really didn't do anything. We just saw her kind of in the 
command role a few times and getting getting captured by Han and Chewie and presumably being tossed into the garbage chute. Um, I'm hoping we do see something like that either in some artwork or a scene in the next movie, but you know, I still, I thought Phasma was great. Um, it's another new awesome character. Maybe we will see more of her later on. Um, and obviously being a captain, she does have a good history to make it this far. So here's the blaster itself. Again, General Giant did a phenomenal job as usual with all the detail and the paint um, and the sculpt as well. And the blaster is just kick ass, such an awesome blaster to have. Um, and of course it matches her armor as well. And I actually thought this was real cloth or real, you know, some kind of cloth material when I first saw it. It looks so real in person. I don't know how well um, it'll look in the video. But when you first see it in person from a distance, you actually think this is all real cloth. I mean, they did such a great job with it, um, unlike any other cloth type bust that they'd have, you know, with the Jedi robes or certain clothing. Um, but this is all just absolutely fantastic and of course they show it draping down her shoulders and her back. They have the red trim going up on the on the front um, that wraps around just to one side. And the color, that was one thing that I wanted to address as well. Um, I saw the Hot Toys Captain Phasma which you can find the gallery of both my Sideshow Hot Toys and General Giant. Um, photos from their booth at Comic-Con in my Facebook page, facebook.com slash earth2geek, but Hot Toys made theirs really chrome, like really reflective, shiny, bright chrome. General Giant kind of went with a more lustered look, if you would say, or a more, I don't want to say flat or matte, because it's not really, it does, you know, you can tell from the light, it does have a good reflection on it, but I know in the movie she was pretty chromey looking, like even from the picture here. Um, her chrome, chromey, that's a new uh, adjective to describe the color. But I think General Giant went with more of a silver look than chrome. I know chrome can be silver, whatever, but um, I don't know. I kind of like the Hot Toys color, but I do also really like the way General Giant did it. Of course, in the movie we do see enhancement with the color and picture and everything. So I'm not sure how the costume actually looks in real life. Um, I don't remember seeing it in person at Celebration last year, unless they did. I'm just, I need to look through my photos. But either way, I am happy. It is still a very bright and reflective color, as you can see on the top where the light hits and on the shoulders um, and a few places here and there, even on the fingertips. But either way, I'm super happy with it. And just taking a look at the bottom two, we have the 918 number out of 1200. And you can just see how much space this does take up with the cloak. Um, it is a pretty thick cloak at the bottom too. Usually it's just a thin wave they have going around. But overall, I'm super happy with it. Um, great job once again, General Giant. You did a phenomenal job. Thank you for bringing these pieces to your fans and collectors and making it pretty accessible and easy to get. Even if you're a PGM member and didn't attend the show, you could have still bought it online and have it shipped to you. But that's about all I have for this piece today. Um, thank you all for watching and I hope you all get to add this to your collection. If not, then there will be plenty more coming out. Um, again, take a look at my gallery. I have pictures of Rey, Maz Kanata, the Snow Trooper, and the BB-8 Holiday Edition mini bust. But other than that, thank you all for watching. Uh, please like and follow and subscribe all my pages and stay tuned for the next video review.